Hello everybody, Armies of Plastic Studios here, and today I have a very interesting review. So, this is an extremely rare vintage Army Men toy. So this was by the company Timmy, or uh, Process Plastic, however you wanted to refer to them. Um, but it was made, I don't remember the exact date, but somewhere around the 50s, early 60s. Um, Timmy was selling sets of Navy figures. Um, so, na there was like Navy, Air Force, um, and I don't remember what else. But, in some of the Navy sets, they had an anti-aircraft gunner. And this is what you see right, right before your eyes. Um, this is the Timmy anti-aircraft gunner and it's extremely extremely rare um that's really all i have to say um especially because it has the ammo clip right here and that was discontinued after a little while because it was a small part and it was potentially hazardous for children um and that makes it even more rare so let's just get right into the review so number one this looks like, you know, normal army men scale, but sadly for uh, for me wanting to put it into a stop motion, it is a lot bigger than, well, the, the uh, soldier is a lot bigger than normal army men scale. So here is a normal two inch army man, just, just for scale. There you have it. And as you can see, just this guy sitting down is way bigger he's almost as tall as or if if taller than the guy standing up but he's just sitting down but he is an interesting figure uh, it's got some good detail I mean not the best but you can see it, it's there. And I believe these figures were either in blue or white um, for the Navy and the Air Force figures. But so there's the, there's the little guy there. So we're gonna put him aside and review the actual anti-aircraft gun itself. So, as you can see, there's the seat where he sits, and the little foot pedals or foot rests there. And then, going up to the top, you have the handles where he holds. And as you can see, this old plastic, you can see it's all scuffed up. That's happened with a lot of my, or a lot of the vintage to me stuff I have. Like the uh, Staghound car from the 50s, the uh, the old first version Timmy Jeep from the 50s looks just like this, the way that plastic is scuffed up. But um, this plastic looks like a very dark navy blue. I originally thought it was black, but um, it looks like black on the on the camera. But from my point of view, looking at it under the lights, now I see that it's actually just a very dark navy blue which I mean obviously it's the navy so anyway as you can see we have an up and down up and down motion I believe this it's two pieces like that and this just kinda simply clamps onto there just pops on like that and as you can see, this pole right here rotates in the base, so you get full coverage of what you're trying to shoot at. So, very, very nice. Um, and really quickly, we're going to go over this clip, because this clip was actually removable, as you can see. It's a little gap in between. Very well, uh, 
molded bullets. They look nice. As you can see, the slot in there is nicely engineered, and it just looks cool. The slot where the bullets slide into. So normally you'll see this if you ever see it, because I've never seen any other example of this other than on the Timmy blog. But normally, if you happen to come across one, you won't find the clip. But this one is special. And also, if you try hard enough, you can kind of feed the uh, feed the ammo three through, just like that. And that looks pretty cool. If I ever use it in a stop motion, I could probably you know make it look like it's feeding through all the ammo. But that is about it for the review of this excellent uh, Timmy very rare anti-aircraft gunner. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all later.